Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's boy Sam from Art of Training here and today we'll be looking into the dart pools. Now, the dart pools is got is a massive grey area for stocks like AMC, NAKD and all the rest of it, right? They are used within the naked shorting. Now, what dart pool essentially is, is it is a way that these large institutional investors are able to actually hide their shares and pull wool over our eyes. They will basically be able to sh like trade shares in big bulk without actually disclosing these trades. And in my opinion, this is what could be going on with how they're taking out so many naked shorts and you know the dtc005 should crack down on this in a sense but the fact that this is being used within the dart pools i i don't think that it's going to really affect dart pools the dtc005 but just because it's not being disclosed it's not disclosed information right so what will this do to the price action now the dtc 005 don't get me wrong it will have a positive effect on the market of amc amc will start reaching heights probably like within the next week or so when this dtc gets properly enforced now although it said it has been implemented effective immediately last week it still doesn't seem to be taken into effect you know we still see the naked shorts happening so once this rule really gets embedded within the market structure i do believe that this will probably see a nice amount of movement within amc now looking and the so basically let's have, a, let's have a quick look at the the actual dart pool and what it actually involves right so the primary advantage of dart pool trading is that institutional investors making large trades can do do so without exposure while finding buyers and sellers so th these are these are buyers and sellers that actually have access to the dart pools which as we all know is very limited us retail investors we don't have access to dart pools yet you know hedgy over here is able to trade in these dart pools you know, like they're allowed to do whatever they want in them. And the, the problem is there's no actual disclosure that they don't disclose what's actually going on with these dark pools. So that puts a very, very bold question mark to us retail investors about what's actually going on in the market because there's not full transparency and we don't have access to the information which these large institutions currently do. So this prevents heavy price devaluation, which would occur um, if it were public knowledge, for example, that an investment bank was trying to sell 500,000 of a security, the security would almost certainly have decreased in value by the time the bank found buyers for all, all of their shares. And this is vice versa, you know? So, you know, this is stopping from something from devaluing, but bear in mind, this could also be used in reverse and they could devalue a company through the shares which they are taking out of these dark pools and, you know, trying to pull wool over all of us investors eyes so this is very very important for amc especially because this is this is one of the things that is really going on within the market and all the, all the other meme stocks this is happening for but amc and i would say nakd as well these this is a very very heavy thing that is currently being used within these dark pools and it needs to stop and it, we need to speak up about it and you know if we could crack down on these dark pools and find a way to really make a difference to really band together to come together to stop these dark pools we would see astronomical heights with amc right we really would like it'd be without question amc would squeeze without these dark pools in place because this is how this is how the hedge funders are currently still short in this stock even with the dtc implemented because in my opinion the dtcc i think they have done it sort of as a smoke and mirrors play i don't think they're actually going to enforce it properly i want them to and i want to believe they will but at the end of the day will they actually that's what you have to ask yourself. And to be honest, the answer, in my opinion, is no. But what do I know? I'm not a financial advisor. I never claim to be. But that is my take on the dark pools. I hope you've all enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, all the rest of it. And thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. In a bit.